Hello there, today I'm doing a quick video on the G7 Capo. Um, so, sort of, there's a bit of a look. This is the uh, this is the performance capo. They've got a couple of different models that they do now. I've had this particular one for about 20 years. Um, ugh, maybe not quite that long, a little bit under. Uh, and it's been pretty well rock solid that entire time. Um, I've used a bunch of different capos over the years. Uh, so from the, uh, you know, Shub to Jim Dunlop to Kaiser to there's been a couple of no-name brand capos in there as well just whatever's been laying around studios and whatever's needed uh, and this one has always um, served me quite well uh, now a couple of reasons why it's really good is a i mean it's a it's a nice solid construction so it's all you know it's just built for performance really especially especially if you're into live work now, what you find with a lot of capos is that you have to be, um, you know, you have to grip them quite a bit to move them around, and it can be a bit annoying when you're trying to play live, especially if you don't have much time to switch your capo around. It can be a bit tricky. Uh, whereas this one, it's got its own sort of formula, where instead of having to squeeze, you know, a handle and then release it, this one actually works on uh, pressure when you push it down. So again, rather than putting it on clamping and you know letting it go so it seals, this one you can, if it you know comes like that closed, you flick this switch down, and the whole thing opens like that, uh, and then you put it on the guitar neck, and then you know the the way I tend to do it, you hold it on the front, and then you push the back in, and then it just clamps on. <laughs> And so even if, you know, you don't get it on properly, you don't push down hard enough, you know, my, if you're sort of getting that sound, you just push it a little bit harder and it will seal properly. So when you're playing live, it's fantastic because you can just move it around wherever you need it. Different fret positions on your guitar will need more or less pressure depending on what it is. Um, the higher up the neck you go, the strings are a little bit further away from the fretboard generally. So you might need a bit more pressure if you're putting a, uh, you know, a capo up here. So you go... Uh... Like that. Then you just flick the lever all the way down. super easy to use. Uh, the only thing that it has a little bit of a challenge with is uh, because it has that flick lever thing, it's great for acoustic, but on an electric, if you start doing big string bends, um, the tension may not be quite enough to hold onto the string as you're bending it because the string will bend and then it will move under the capo here and then get stuck there. So you release the string and the string might stay where it was, which obviously is not ideal. So if you're playing lead on an electric, uh, you might want to get uh, you know a capo, and G7 have the other models that do this. So it's obviously, it's an industry thing, you know, it's not unknown. Um, so if you're playing electric, doing lots of string bending, you want to do something like that. But for, you know, 99% of the time, uh, this capo is going to be exactly what you need. So again, I've used it for a very long time. Uh, I would recommend it. I still use it. Um, I wouldn't if it didn't do the job I needed it to do. So I, uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.